Namaste Creative Yogis. How are you all doing out there? Hope you've enjoyed this move into the new full moon energy. And it's been quite a shift. It's moved into the earth energy. So it's much more grounded this month. So hopefully you're noticing that. And also hopefully you got to enjoy the solstice and the full moon, that kind of conjunction that happened from one day to the next. So What's so interesting about that, and it's really set the tone for this whole month, is that we had that kind of equality happening. So the power of the, of the sun and the power of the moon was equal. So it's asking us to kind of reflect on that in ourselves, have a look at that, look at those kind of energies in ourselves and seeing how equal things are. So we're not talking gender here, we're talking energy. So our masculine energy is the energy where we take action, we get things done, we stand up for ourselves in the world and we make our presence felt, we speak up, we allow ourselves to be heard, we have confidence in ourselves. It's really that kind of external energy that helps us to get things done in the world. And our, our fa feminine energy is much more about connecting to our heart space to soften into compassion and kindness and nurture and stillness, to listen, to take the time for self-care to connect to our inner creativity, listening to our dreams, our visions, be that inspiration that comes from that inner space. And then from there, we then kind of take action. So it is recognizing that the starting point for us is actually to really go into our feminine space and hang out in our feminine space and pay attention to what it is that's gonna make us happy, what's gonna um, help us to manifest and then from there we come up with the spirit action and the spirit action is the masculine energy that's when we have the plan and we make the plan happen for ourselves so it is about finding the balance between the two um, energies and getting them to kind of partner each other this equality is when we are the most effective in manifesting our dreams so it's worth taking the time to sit down and journal and just see how you feel about these different qualities in ourselves. You know, where, where are you at with it all? Are you quite comfortable with certain sides of yourself and not so comfortable with others? And it's about kind of cultivating certain qualities to help you become balanced and whole. So it's a very exciting month. It really is helping you to understand what is involved in that manifesting process. It is about that beautiful combination of your masculine and feminine energies working together. So this month is definitely earth energy, so it's about that grounded practical action, so it is supporting our masculine side, but it's recognizing that in order to take action, we have to have been in our heart space and figured out what it is we want to do, and then we, have, we come up with the spirit action, and then we take those steps. So, so one thing I find when I've come up with the spirit action it's good to have a time scale around it as well by the way um, you know that then fear can come up or anxiety or worry all those sorts of things you know we start to fret about things so I find it is about releasing really compassionately releasing the fear so one asana I recommend that you play with this month is the Cobra it's a nice simple asana it's, it's beginners level you know anybody can do it and you can also play with the Sphinx and the Cobra and do some variations there. But the Cobra, the Bhujangasana, that beautiful gentle back bend, is actually essentially about releasing fear. So it's a beautiful one to incorporate into your yoga practice and hang out and breathe into your heart space while you're in the Cobra. So the, the story behind the Cobra, the, the King Cobra in, in yogic mythology, he, he kind of just hung out like this. He was kind of like uh, sitting upright and he just glided along. He didn't kind of wiggle, he just glided along. And he was very much that representation of the releaser, uh, taking charge of your fear and releasing it. And what it practically does, the cobra, is that it calms down the nervous system. It actually relaxes the muscle of the brain as well. And it helps you to just clear away that anxiety and fear. So if you hang out in your cobra for a little while in your yoga practice, breathe and release, breathe and release, then you might find you can take those sure-footed steps into manifesting your dreams. So that's what I recommend for you to try in your home practice. 
So I hope that all that is useful to you today. I'm certainly enjoying this month because I'm already kind of got that practical and I've kind of done, you know, I've got to get things done energy this month and I'm doing quite a lot. I'm being quite, quite busy, so I hope you are as well. All right, so let's choose some cards for you today. So we've got the Moonology. So these cards are great for just checking into the general energy of the group. So what do the creative yogis need to know right now? What do the creative yogis need to know? What do you need to know? Let's have a look. <laughs> I, I work through your fears. <laughs> I just love it when uh, the, the, the cards are in tune with what I've just been talking about. And you just saw me, I pulled it out, so you know, work through your fears. So, as I say, um, the Cobra is a great one to play with. And just breathe into the heart space and just let it go, just let it go, just let it go, let it go some more. And then just baby steps, I find, is also really helpful when you're moving forward, stepping into the unknown. So, yes, work through your fears. There you go, that's a confirmation. It's time to do that. And let's choose a colour card. I haven't done this for ages. So colour therapy is an interesting um, therapy. It's recognising that colours have a vibration. And so you can use a colour around you to help you lift your vibration. So you can see I've got lots of pink around me. That was encouraged, I recommend to me years and years ago, to bring pink into my environment because it opened my heart chakra. I'm going to sneeze. Excuse me. <coughs> Um, so, <laughs> uh, so encouraging you to have some colour into the space that kind of supports your journey, your healing journey. So I have kind of really embraced the colour pink. <laughs> I, ne I never used to be a pink person, but I really, I did notice how it did soften my heart space. So now that's that's cut my card and part of my brand now is this lovely pink, this kind of fuchsia pink. All right. So what do the creative yogis need to know right now? Do they need to know? Let's have a look. I'm not sure if it was this one, it was the one underneath. I'm going to pull it out. Okay, so I chose two there. So we've got um, Awaken Your Creativity. So that might be something that helps you to um, figure out what, what your spirit action is. And I'm just about to do a soul art um, day where we're really diving into body mapping and all this sort of stuff. So I do recommend those kind of practices as really working with your creativity, diving into that, and then from that, finding that, that spirit action. It is about the deep dive first. So tap into your creativity. And the, the bronze is about strengthening your body. So the two things I think kind of really work together this month, you know, is this the yin and the yang again. It's interesting those similar colours. Isn't that lovely? Strengthen your body. So working with your body, but creativity first to find your way. Isn't that gorgeous? All right. Okay, so that's it for me today. Have a lovely week. Namaste, creative yogi.